All right, so I got this 54 tooth rear sprocket mounted up here, and uh, no modification to the chain guide is needed. It's fucking awesome. Super stoked. As you can see, even with it in the middle of the adjuster here, it still has nice smooth chain action there from the guide to the sprocket. No interference, it's not binding, it's not too tight. There's plenty of room in there between the, the sprocket and the chain. See that? Plenty of room in there too. So, looks like I'm gonna need to take a few links off of this to make it work. So this is a 54 2 3 or sprocket right here. Um, I was gonna go with a 52 because I've heard that you had to modify, well on the forums everybody's saying you have to modify this chain guide. Uh, but uh, it looks like you don't, which is awesome because I really, I've been putting this off doing this job because of this. And um, you know, also uh, I can always go up a tooth in the front if this sprocket is too much, you know, too much low, too low of a gear. So um, the stock, I think it's like a 13 tooth is up here. I can always go one up to a 14 or even a 15. So I can always go up here to take some load, you know, some lowness out of this uh, if need be. So just super stoked that this thing, as you can see, nice smooth action. And um, also it's in the middle of the chain adjustment. So it'll have room to adjust back and forward to get that chain adjusted right now and in the future when the chain stretches and whatnot. So anyway, um, post this up and kind of a cool thing to know because uh, up till now, I was worried that I had to cut this thing, the chain guide to be able to fit that sprocket in there, but nope, it'll fit a 54 tooth rear, which is awesome. Huh, nanny, isn't that great? No comment. All right then. Peace.